When young Dr. Li Ji Sui was called upon to become Chairman Mao's personal physician in the late 1950s, he was anxious to say the least. The dear leader considered himself a paragon of physical prowess and took a dim view of medical professionals who didn't always share these views on his robust health. Their relationship began with a routine examination. While his sinuses and nose seemed perfectly fine, Li was struck by the chairman's teeth, which according to the military leader Peng De Huai, looked like they were coated with green paint. Li gently prodded a gum, and recoiled as it oozed with pus, while elsewhere teeth were infested with rot. Mao, in contrast to his hands-on management of the Chinese economy, took an altogether more laissez-faire approach to his personal hygiene and health. He reportedly never bathed, preferring to be wiped down with hot towels by his bodyguards, and considered his chain-smoking habit to be an exercise in deep breathing. When it came to oral hygiene, Mao, following a tradition common amongst the peasantry of southern China, refused to brush his teeth, preferring instead to rinse his mouth out with tea before eating the leaves. Eventually, the portly despot's oral ignorance became unsustainable, and he was dragged out of his palace to visit Dr. Zhang Guangyan, a dentist from Beijing Medical College. Zhang was similarly unsettled by the Feast of Plaque, but after carefully cleaning away the years of encrusted detritus, he implored the great helmsman to start brushing his teeth. No, replied Mao, I clean my teeth with tea. I never brush them. A tiger never brushes his teeth. Why are tiger's teeth so sharp? Li and Zhang stood in stunned silence, contemplating this bizarre logical fallacy. Mao winked and added, See, there are a lot of things you doctors can't explain. Such is the life of a despot. I hope you enjoyed this video, and you can listen to the Despot's Bookshelf podcast by clicking the links in the description. The Despot's Bookshelf in no way encourages gargling green tea as a substitute for oral hygiene practices recommended by actual dentists. However, we do recommend that you like and subscribe for more despotic history from the Despot's Bookshelf.